Hey, Mike with Mike's Bags, and today I am reviewing the Nightmares by NFQ Bags. Let's go ahead and break this bag down. Carpet bag, it has that herringbone carpet we're all familiar with, the same carpet you find on the BG Wizard Sorcerer, the Buffalo Fallout X Fury, the B3 Prime and Fatal, the, the Sure Shot Mutants, the X-Level Counterpunch, the, melt, the, the Majestic Meltdowns, and the Ninja Streets, and I, I could go on and on. There's a whole list of bags that use this material, and I've got more coming down the next few weeks, so I hope you're not tired of it, you're going to see more of it. But there's a good reason that a lot of companies use it. It's a very player-friendly material, very versatile material. That's why a lot of people like it. I'm really, I, I love throwing bags as material because you can do so much with it. I, I'm gonna call it a five-speed. It, 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 again, I've mentioned this before. It's a very, it's a material you can manipulate quite a bit. So if you like to keep it playing faster, keep it clean, get a fabric shaver, shave these fuzzies off, and you can play it more to five and a half, six-speed. If you like to play it slower, get it dirty, rough it up, I, you know, throw outdoors, throw on concrete, whatever, just get this material really roughed up, really fuzzed up, it'll play down even as slow as a four at times, or maybe you can even get it slower if you really want to get, you know, get it really dirty, it will slow way down. But for the most part, the normal conditions, normal bags, I call it about a five speed on the slow side. Now, the day I was doing this video and doing these these, these throws here, it, it, it was a cold, dry day, but once you're playing a touch faster, I would say it's playing, playing more like a five and a half speed than a five. So you're not going to see a ton of blockers. There's a few there, if, if I remember right, a, a few. Not a lot, though. But still, yeah, it, it's it's a bag that, you know, you can manipulate the speed to where you want, if you know, if, if that's what you're interested in. Fast side, this is a the, the Pro Sniper Deadhead Viper Fast Side, nine speed, crazy fast, great for pushing, collecting, sliding at the board, any conditions. We're looking at a five, nine speed on the bag. Template wise, I'm gonna call it a large template bag. I think it's it's somewhere between a medium to large. It's not the largest bag I've ever thrown. It, it's bigger than your average size bag, I would say. So I'm calling it a large template because it feels like a large template bag in my hand. It's a fuller bag. Typically, those large template bags are floppy and sloppy. This is not that. NFQ has put a, a, quite a bit of fill in here, so it has it has some flop. It is not overly floppy, which gives you a great hand feel. Right? You've got enough fill here. You can grab a hold of and lock the bag down. And even though it's a larger template bag, you still have quite a bit of control over it. The fill in here is a mixed fill. I think it might be the same fill they used in the slang. I don't know, but I love the fill. I love the way the, the fill plays. Gives the bag some movement so you can shape shots with your cuts, rolls, flops, but it's not overly aggressive that it's going to really penalize you a ton if you don't throw it the flattest of bags. It's still pretty forgiving. It also has enough flop to it that it, it's really forgiving around the hole, like grabbing the hole and melting it in. I, it, you know, I typically say this herringbone carpet is not that hole friendly. It has a tendency to want to hang on the hole. This bag shocked me in the way that it played around the hole. You know, typically these fuller bags are not the greatest at grabbing the hole. They kind of want to skip over more than grab it, but there's enough flop here. And, and you watch, watch these as I'm throwing, watch how much, how many times I've missed my landing and the bag's off to the left or right. And the bag still grabs, spins around, comes in or gets up, it hits the hole, it hangs and just slowly drips into the hole. It just did it a ton. And I, you know, I don't have all of the clips of where I threw. I mean, I threw this bag for several hours and I've got, you know, 10 minutes of clips here. So it, it, there's a lot that's missing, but this bag shocked me at how well it played around the hole for being a herringbone bag. It's, it's definitely at the top of the list of most hole friendly bags with the herringbone. If not, if not the number one, it's right there with the most hole friendliest bags I've thrown that has this, this material on it. So I, I, I was surprised by that. All right, let's go ahead and jump into playability while I'm talking about that. And, and this is a bag, you know, just like any other bag that has a herringbone carpet, it's very versatile. You know, if you want to go hole for hole, run bags in the hole, you can do it. You can have a lot of success with it, no problem whatsoever. If you want to play a dirty style game, blockers, cuts, rolls, flops, you know, push and replace, whatever, you can do that with this bag. The fast side's fast enough. If, when it comes down to clean up, you can push through and, and take the bag. It's fast enough to push through multiple bags if you need to. The bag is full enough when, it, when you throw a blocker. Very easy to collect. There's clip in a corner. It's not going to cording up like floppy bags do. There's enough fullness here. You can just clip a corner and take it in, which means you can get more aggressive putting that blocker on your punch side and then coming right down the middle and clipping it. If you get too far over, maybe you, you missed your block or your opponent kind of bullets it a little bit out of the way, you can throw a cut shot, come across, clip it, and bring it back in. If bags are hanging on the hole, very collectible. I think a lot of it has to do with this fill they're using. I love the way the fill plays around the hole. But you can come in, just throw a normal bag, usually clip it, it'll pull it in. If it doesn't, or the bag's across this of the hole, you have the ability to cut it, catch it, and pull it back in. So bags are very collectible. These bags just want to go in the hole. I mean, that, that, again, that's what surprised me the most was just how how much the bag wanted to go in the hole in spite of how many times I was missing my mark throwing the bag. So if you're if you're looking for a bag that is more forgiving, you're looking for a bag, you know, maybe you're not that consistent, you're still working on consistency, I think these Nightmares are a perfect bag for that. The other thing I mentioned, and I'll kind of reiterate again, is the kick. 
you know, anytime you get a bag that, that has enough control to that you can cut with it, you're going to get a kick because the angle, the angle that you put on the bag to get it to cut is also the same angle that causes the bags to kick, right? So this bag is very cuttable, which means it's going to have some kick to it. However, it's not as punishing as I would think a bouncy bag. And I, I, I hesitate to call it bouncy. It has bounce to it. It's not a bouncy bag. But it, I think there's enough flop here. You know, typically the fuller bags want to bounce and kick more. Floppier bags are more forgiving. There's enough flop here that you're taking some of that, that bounciness. You're taking some of that punishing kick out of it. So there's a little bit of a kick, not a ton. And it's a very controllable kick. So if you ha if you don't throw a flat bag, but you're consistently in the same angle when you throw, you can adjust your line spot. Play that. The other thing is because the bag is so forgiving around the hole that even if you throw it and it kicks on you, as long as that corner grabs the hole, it'll pull it right back in for you. So it's it's not it's not a punishing bag by any means whatsoever. But yet you do have the control except to shape shots with your cuts, your rolls, flops. You know, if, if you're an average to above his rollback player, you're, you'll have no problem rolling this back. If you're if you're trying to learn to roll, you're still working your roll. It's a it's on the it's on the easier side of bags to roll. So I think it's a great bag to to learn on to practice with. Uh, except it, it, it's definitely a bag designed for shaping shots, which is how I like to play bags like that. I like when I get a herringbone style bag, I want to play more of that hybrid game. Like I'll, I'll run bags in the hole for a round or two, and then I'll throw an occasional blocker here or there. Or maybe a, maybe I'll start out if I've got first bag, first bag blocker, cut around, cut around, clean up my last bag. Whatever I like, I like the options that a bag like this gives you as far as how you want to play the game. You know, wh whatever you want to do, you, you keep your opponent guessing. Right? If you play the same style game, if you get up there every round and your first bag's a blocker and your opponent starts realizing that they can they can make adjustments they can they can they can strategize to play that but if you get up there and throw and and run bags in the hole for the first three or four rounds and then all of a sudden you throw a blocker in that first round it, it catches them guard it makes them stop makes them think may make them make a rash decision to try to just shoot it without thinking about it or do something maybe they miss and then you get your points and that's a, that's what the game's all about it's just scoring every round if you can just get a point here or two points here every round if you just cause your opponent to make that one mistake and then you clean your bags up you're, you're going to win more games you're going to i mean if, if, you, if you get if you score every round you'll never lose a game right but that's kind of the idea of a corner it's, it's not about it's not always about the big rounds to me it's about those one two point rounds and a bag like this gives you those options that you can play the game that you need to cause your opponent to make a mistake or if your opponent plays a, a blocker and and you don't want to collect it right you can play the get around game you can you know you can cut around it you can roll over it you can do what you need to do to leave that blocker and hope that they make a mistake trying to collect it so i love the way these nightmares play i really can't stress that enough i i i, I was blown away with their playability i think nfq has done a great job combining the materials with the fill and the template and the amount of flop like it's it's i don't know there's nothing about this bag that i would change i i, I was i was really 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 impressed with how it played so if you get availability where do you get yourself a set nfq has a facebook page you can go on there send them a message to pick up a set if you don't have facebook let me know reach out to me whatever i can get you an email or somewhere and get you in contact with them so i know sometimes some of you guys say you don't have facebook i think their bags run roughly about 65 dollars a set and that's including shipping so phenomenal price it's on the cheaper end of bag prices really you can't beat that high quality bag for 65 bucks it's definitely it's definitely something worth getting so check them out if you've thrown them i love to hear your feedback always love to hear what you guys like and don't like if you get a set let me know your thoughts on them but I, again i recommend checking these nightmares out they're they're a fun bag to throw you're gonna put a lot of bags in the hole it's gonna increase your ppr if you go out and, and, and use a bag like this so i think you guys so much for support and i thank you for watching <laughs>